a staff member at Hawaii State Hospital has died after police say he was stabbed by a former patient last night. It happened at a transitional living facility on State Hospital ground in Kaneohe. Officers arrived on the scene around 5 p.m. Witnesses tell police they heard an argument break out beforehand. And according to HPD, the 29-year-old victim was stabbed multiple times in different parts of his body while performing duties inside the residential unit. He was a member of the Hawaii State Hospital staff. The suspect, 25-year-old Tommy Carvalho. According to a press release, Carvalho was discharged from the Hawaii State Hospital in August and was transitioning to the community through the state-operated specialized residential program. All we're told from different people is that they just heard um, some type of argument or maybe a disagreement. Um, I'm not too sure yet. We're still getting that information. I believe um, they know each other from the staff member working here, but I don't know the extent of the relationship. Detectives continued their investigation into the night. They took pictures and gathered evidence where the suspect was said to be living. Nanakuli murder suspect Justin Akana was in court yesterday. He's charged in a deadly stabbing that took place last Friday. Newly released documents say that he and another homeless man had been fighting over money and cigarettes before the stabbing. Based on witness accounts, police say that 62-year-old Dennis Wilson confronted Akana then punched and kicked him, and Akana allegedly responded by stabbing Wilson in the chest. Akana's bail is set at $1 million. He is due back in court tomorrow. Police say that a woman in her 80s was struck and killed yesterday. She was hit while crossing School Street, and according to police, she was inside a marked crosswalk. HPD says the woman was crossing School Street around 7.15 on Monday morning when she was hit by a 51-year-old man turning his truck onto Alaneo Street. He stayed on the scene, and investigators do not believe that he was speeding, nor on drugs or alcohol. HPD is reminding everyone to drive alert. Uh, everybody's mind is um, elsewhere, you know, focusing on um, Christmas gifts and, and attending festivities and whatnot. So just urging everybody to be diligent um, and uh, alert when they're driving. The victim of the crash has not yet been identified. So first alert for the windy conditions today and tomorrow. And don't forget that red flag warning today as well. And then the trade winds back off significantly starting on Thursday. We'll have fairly dry weather from Wednesday all the way until Saturday. That's when a cold front comes in, shifts the winds, and bring in, brings in more scattered showers. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment.